1960s, the uh, legendary Anatoly Tarasov uh, was coaching the Soviet Union. He used the torpedo system. In fact, many people believe he designed the torpedo system after being a professional soccer coach. He won nine consecutive world championships and three straight Olympic gold medals. Difficult to argue with that success. The Swedes then, uh, when you read some books and you, you go on the internet and you, you uh, study the history of the torpedo, it says that the Swedes used it back in the 60s and the 70s. But where I learned about it was the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. There was a lot of hype around Team Sweden, the men's Swedish Olympic team, using the torpedo system. And so I sat up one night and I taped a game between Sweden and Canada. And that's the video footage that I have. And it's the only video footage I have and the only video footage I've ever used to sort of create my own version of the torpedo system. I encourage you to be open as the game is changing, to progress, uh, to adapt. Growth and comfort do not coexist. We all know that, so it's important that we all step out of our comfort zones, especially those of us that are seen as mentors and leaders, and try to grow the game. If you adapt the torpedo system, or even pieces of it, you will challenge yourself, you will challenge your staff, and you will challenge your players. Your players will become more skilled, they'll become much better at reading the game, and the truth is, they'll be more dynamic, and they're going to have more freedom to play, therefore they're going to have fun.